Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be saving some money on fertilizing our planted tanks by making our own fertilizers. Uh, $35 will probably stretch most of you well over a year versus $15 with Easy Green will probably last you about two months. Uh, so we're going to start. This is a Greenleaf Aquarium uh, PPS Pro set. It's $35 on their website. It comes with two bottles, macro, micro, and it comes with an assortment of bags of different types of fertilizers. And it even comes with a recipe that you can learn to alter yourself. Some things that you're gonna need beyond what comes with the bag is you're gonna need some distilled or RO water, a funnel, a scooper, a $10 gram scale off of Amazon, and in this case, it is a sake shot glass from a Japanese restaurant. So it's very simple. You're just going to go ahead and turn this on and make sure we calibrate down to zero. We're going to take our macro bottle, which is what we're working with first. And there's two sides. There's the dosing side and then there's the filling side. And we will place our funnel in and uh, go ahead and start mixing some different dry fertilizers. So we're going to start with potassium nitrate and in this case we're going to use 32.6 grams and we're just going to grab our scooper and start pouring it in. And almost there. There we go. So that's 32.75. I don't really care about the difference. And we're just gonna pour it in our funnel and let it wash down to the bottom of our container. Now that we've done our potassium nitrate, which is gonna be the nitrogen for our plants, we'll go over to our monopotassium phosphate, which we will only use a very little bit. This is uh, what your phosphate test will be testing. And this is a great way to get algae if you overdose it. So our first one was 32 grams, and we are only gonna be using 2.9 grams of this. Now, for my highly stocked fish tank inside the house, I don't put any potassium in the fertilizer mix because I use flake food a lot of the times, and fish waste and flake food specifically has a lot of potassium in it and no matter how low I go, I always get green dust algae on my glass. So finally I started making a whole bottle without any additional phosphate in it and it has balanced the equation perfectly, which is another reason why making your own fertilizers is much better than buying stuff that's at the store because once you learn, you can actually make these adjustments to what your tanks and your plants actually need. Next. We'll have our, what is this, potassium sulfate? Yes, it is. So this is what's gonna keep your leaves green and healthy. This, uh, along with some iron, and we're gonna use 29.3 grams according to their recipe, which I am pretty good with. Now this is a daily dosing fertilizer for CO2 and high light injected aquariums you probably will only need to dose half as much, maybe a third as much if you don't use CO2 and your lighting is more on the moderate to low end. Um, you could adjust your recipe down so you can dose it every day and not have to worry about it. Uh, on my low tech tanks, I dose every third day with the same amount of uh, dosage. And we'll get into that in just one second. Finally, we're on to our magnesium here, and we want 20.2 grams. These are really thick crystals, and it's gonna take probably 12 hours or so for these crystals to fully dissolve into the water. And I poured just a little bit too much. Perfect. So that's why they tell you to mix this up and Shake it real good and you wanna let it sit overnight. Um, I shake it every few hours. So now that I have all of my macro ingredients in there, I'm gonna open up this uh, purified water, which is just RO water. Um, and we're gonna pour it in. There's 500 milliliters in this bottle. Get 
both bottles, actually. And once we've done that, we go ahead and put our cap on and shaky shaky. So easy to do, you can do it at the kitchen table in a Bosnian household. And that's done. Next we'll get to our micros, which is even easier. So these are trace minerals that will uh, help your aquarium and your plants. They're required. Um, in this case, we just have some micro mix here and we will once again grab our sake cup. Probably want to do a better job cleaning out my, my macro fertilizers first. There you go. We'll get our sake cup on there. We'll zero it out. And this is going to be 28.6 grams. Now for dosing, they want you to dose one milliliter per 10 gallons of the macro every single day. And they want a half of a milliliter for every 10 gallons every single day. Now this is for a high light CO2 injection setup. Obviously you tone it down a little bit for standard setups. And if you find that you're not getting enough or you're getting some green spot algae or something like that, you can always dose a little bit extra One of my tanks with my Alternanthera Renicki in it, as you know about the plant, it loves to develop algae on it because it's a slow grower. So I actually dose uh, six milliliters daily of the macro on a 40 gallon tank. And that helps fight off my green spot algae, which of course helps keep it off the leaves in there, but nothing's going to prevent all algae all the time. You still need a cleanup crew. This may be a good time to let you know that I now carry Siamese algae eaters on my website, iwetmyplantsaquatics.com. Five for $15 or three for 11, I think. I don't sell them individually yet. We got our micros in there. Shake it up every couple hours. Give it another shake and uh, it'll be good to go after sitting overnight. And then you can just use a uh, syringe that you buy at the pharmacy and dose daily or every third day on a low tech setup and have fun. Now you're gonna save yourself a ton of money and you're gonna say, thank you, Brandon. And you can thank me by spending your money on my plants. Bye.